Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one video on Spider-Man himself, one of my favorite characters of all time, Spider-Man, as you can see. Spider-Man Glore back here. Um, I've been a Spider-Man fan ever since a kid. You know, he was one of my favorite superheroes growing up. Still is one of my favorite superheroes. Um, and I'm surprised I haven't done a one-on-one -on -one, a one -on -one video on him, um, honestly, because uh, I've done one on Ultimate Peter Parker. I've done one on Superior Spider-Man, but I have not done it with P Peter Parker. And it's been on the list, but I got a lot of recommendations and stuff, and no one recommended Spider-Man. Uh, people were recommending Ultimate Spider-Man, but not Peter Parker himself. So I, I was saving it for a right moment, and the right moment is the week before Amazing Spider-Man issue one. Um, and yes, I do have more recommendations for one-on-one -on -one videos, but again, since Amazing Spider-Man was coming out, I did want to do the Spider-Man one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, so next week will be uh, recommendations again. And if you guys have any recommendations, please tell me in the comments below. And if I answer them, that means in a couple of weeks, it will be on Comic Frontline. So uh, be sure to recommend some one-on-one -on -one videos you want. Because this is a show where you guys can learn um, about your favorite superheroes and what comics you should read with them. And what's some great jumping off points. Uh, so let's get started with Spider-Man. Um, I think with Spider-Man, he's a very hard character to really jump onto because there is so much always going on with the character with switching bodies or, you know, Spider Island, all these crazy things um, that prevents, you know, new readers to read Spider-Man. So, um, of course, I think Superior Spider-Man um, is a very good, good jumping off point. But if you want to really read Peter Parker, I wouldn't say read Superior Spider-Man because he's not Peter Parker. Um, it's a good arc. But, and it is a good jumping off point. I do recommend if you want to jump on to Superior Spider-Man, though, start with issue 698 of Spider-Man, because that really starts the arc of Superior Spider-Man. Um, but that's only, those issue ones are always great jumping off point. But um, if you want to really go back, I always recommend Spider Island. Is that jumping off point for Spider-Man fans? Um, it's one of my favorite arcs for Spider-Man in recent years. Um, it's a really fun arc, especially if you're a Mary Jane and Peter Parker fan. Um, it's a really fun arc for them, and uh, it's something different. And what Dan Slott does do a lot is different things with Spider-Man that you haven't seen before, um, which I'm very excited for Amazing Spider-Man issue one to come out, which I'll talk about um, because I'm excited to see what new things he does with the character. Uh, but yeah, if you want to get into Spider-Man and don't mind getting a couple of trades, um, I do recommend Spider-Island being that jumping off point. Um, because again, it's really hard to have a real jumping off point for Spider-Man. Start with the new arc, that's always easy too, uh, and I think now we're getting to the easiest jumping off point, Amazing Spider-Man issue one. A lot of people have asked me, how do I get into Spider-Man? Um, and this is the perfect time to get into the character. It's a new issue one, a new beginning, Superior Spider-Man's over. Um, I would say you kind of need to know a little bit about Superior Spider-Man probably, because you'd be a little confused, like, oh, why is Dr. Octopus being talked about? Wait, he was Spider-Man? Um, so yeah, I would look up a little bit about the character beforehand, see you know, about the story with Superior Spider-Man. Uh, but yeah, Amazing Spider-Man, um, a very good jumping on point that comes out this week. Um, and I'm really excited to see that uh, new readers can read Spider-Man. Very excited for the stories coming up for that. Uh, so those are my recommendations for jumping on points for Spider-Man. Um, again, there's 100,000 things you can read with Spider-Man. Um, and I always recommend Spider-Girl too. But uh, th these are my main jumping on point uh, theories I'll give you. Uh, but please tell me in the comments below if you want to get into Spider-Man and uh, if this helped you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno, Comic Frontline, and I'm very excited for Amazing Spider-Man issue one, as you can see. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Rant Situations. And don't forget to like my Facebook page. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.